Good evening. Hello. Tonight for Chatting Over Cards, I thought we would talk about online exclusives, and I would um, I would share a bunch of cards made from those. I have fabulous cards. We've been so busy talking about the discontinued list, and I've been sharing that the last few weeks, but I haven't even covered these, and I have just so many cards, so we'll just share some of them tonight, which is awesome. So glad to have you guys here. I love coming on and having people here actually waiting for us to come on. You guys are just the best. Um, my, uh, let's see, tomorrow is All Good Cards Club. And, and you can always still join us, you know, it's $15 a month, but we are doing squares, little squares, one inch squares. And um, squares are in circles. Yeah, <laughs> and they're in circles. So Muffins. we call circles and squares. I'm doing mine this way and I'm going to get more done tomorrow. My, you know, my new thing with uh, All Good Cards Club is I make totally different cards. So I'm going to be designing from scratch too. And I'm going to put in some papers that I haven't used before. Um, so it's it's kind of a play along. The PDF, I have a PDF with the first round of cards done, but then we'll just add a second round of cards because it's playtime for adults. Sometimes these are called inches because we're just using one inch squares and we're just making, <laughs> is that funny? Usually they make them little works of art, but we're just using inches. papers and making inchy cards tomorrow. So you can still join us. And just to show you, like this is a stack of cards I'm gonna be making, look at all these cards. So. Okay, yeah. we're gonna be busy. I need to. <laughs> I need to answer an obvious question. Uh huh. Just turn around and look. I'm wearing a sweater. No. Oh. No. There's there's a person in the middle, and then there's me. me you on the side? Person. Oh, you want me to scooch over? No, no. Come back. Come on. <laughs> but we have a. Where is it? Over there. We, over there, we have a secret stamper. It's always on the other side. Oh, sure. Karen okay. That is helping out. That's right. No, we just can't find the center of the screen. It's just, it's just where we no, are. You, you find it every time. <laughs> I guess, I guess. I'm always well, it relegated. is all about me. You, you want it to be all about you. That's why you're complaining. Mm -hmm. But you know, I thought you were going to comment that you're in short sleeves and I'm in a sweater. I just quickly I put a sweater on because I thought it's probably one of the last times I can wear it. I haven't been wearing it all day. But it is a little cool here for the next couple of days. Um, but where was I? Oh. Okay, so we do have a host code. So for the month of April, and uh, this is always easy to find. If your order is 150 or more, though, don't you don't use this because you get the benefits. But my card kit this month is with this paper, and I'm going to be showing a ton more ideas tonight with this. This is just done with the paper. Is this gorgeous? This is a spanner card. It is beautiful. This is because when I do the card kits, one of them is always a fun fold. The other thing I'm doing this month, just as an extra treat, I have so many gorgeous fun fold cards with stamp sets that are retiring. So I'm sending everyone, you're going to get them separately, a special fun fold card from all these many swaps that I do. Um, some I've made, some most are what other people have made, but I thought I might as well share these. So it's my extra, a little gift for this month. So that would be very fun. All right. I think we are ready. Where are we going to be in two weeks? Mm, Mexico. Mexico. Yes, that's coming up. Stampin' Up! Trips coming up soon. All right, I'm going to put this down here. So if you aren't sure about the online exclusives, just go to the link for the shop online link that I put on there. And then in the search bar, you're going to put online exclusives. And then you can also arrange them from there, like newest added to oldest. But I thought, because these aren't in the catalog, Sometimes you might not see them or you might see them somewhere, but not know where they are. So feel free to always call me if you have questions about the online exclusives. Send me a message if you need a link to go find them. But I thought we're going to enjoy seeing some of these. And of course, online, they are always all supplies last. So we, oh no, I just, kicked, I just kicked us off. Baby. I did. Look Baby. what I did. I did this wrong. I don't okay. Know what to... <laughs> I, you guys are going to have to bear with me a moment. Uh, and Tim, you can you tell might, my story. I don't no, think, think this will kick me off. I think everyone's going to disappear, aren't they? Okay. Oh, no, I think yes. I could just go back in here. Okay. okay. <gasps> Something try went again. wrong. Yes. It um, says try again. Try again. And maybe it brings it back. <laughs> uh, we just Uploading. We just can't be too good with tech, you know. Oh, here it is. I'm back. And they said. Oh, how? Enter. <laughs> and it, there's then, a little sub note that says karen you did it again oh yep oops i did it again is that the okay let me see i'm going to mute this and add this to the stage whoa i think it's gonna work i think it is Gotta, okay and then i'm going to re oh no i want that to be so 
You guys, I'm not new at this, but sometimes it feels like every day is a new day. <laughs> it, it's just, okay. Joan said she has no sound. Is anyone else? Um, okay, good. I stayed put and I think I have sound. Then it must be at your end. Nobody else is saying I don't have sound, right? All right. So I didn't want to overlook these. And I often will do more like walks through the catalog. So then it's easy. Okay, I love this. This is called Encircled in Nature. And it has these dyes to go with it. Um, and the words here are, you mean so much to me. May this year be incredible and filled with possibilities. And especially, I love these trees. I love anything with trees. So, and then here are the dyes. So we are ready for some gorgeous cards. Look at this. Yeah, they're fine. Sound? Yep. Okay. Sorry for your loss. Look how stunning this is. This is, and you can see the different parts here. You can see the stamp and this stamped inside and then sponged over. You see how it's just kind of all built and then those, built. yeah, you can put that away. So we don't knock it over. Okay. So we're just going to look at this. This card is from Judy Dedkowitz. And it's one of my favorite sayings inside too. To remember is to give life to those we've loved and lost. And isn't that pretty on the inside with the trees? And mentioning that, yesterday was the 10-year anniversary of my mom's death. She died on 04, 14, or 1404. Anyway, April 14th, 2014. And yesterday was... Okay, this card is Kristen Bryant. Yes, we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. You see how this is cut out? And I wasn't, put, wasn't so confused. This is maybe. cut inside. <laughs> this is cut inside. So just kind of the reverse thing. And this one has the words made this year be incredibly filled with, with possibilities. But look at it. So here's an Amy Rich card. And now look how this is combining this idea where this is on the inside. And then it's all sponged inside. And then this is wood grain. So see, there's similarities to both. And yet you just take this idea and do it different. That is just beautiful with the sponging. And it just says here for you. See, when that has leaves on it, you really know that it's a, a vine. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I look at it and I think, what, that's a big circular saw. Yeah, well, it'd be good for that too, wouldn't it? We yeah, could do that. Huge so. <laughs> oh, and by the way, face. thanks. My mom is um, going to be 100 in September. So we are going to shower her with cards when it gets closer. Um, we will talk about that because I, I that's really something huge to celebrate. Okay, now I'm going to keep going because look, at, we're using the same theme. So this has both. This has this cut out both the inside and the outside. Mm. So it's just around there. Sponged again. The trees stamped. And then also put out here. So how cool is that? And this one is Denise Kessler. Now we have one that is just stamped. This is Kathy Chapman. I, I just, I get such a kick out of everyone's experimenting. I, you know, I always say we're more creative together than we are separately. I just think you can look at a variety of cards and then you start thinking of more ideas. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is just stamped. I mean, this is added, mm -hmm. but you see how that's just stamped and yeah. that's stamped right over it. Yeah. And that's punched out. And then the tree added there. These are all just gorgeous. Then let's totally switch colors. And we're going to go with the whole purple theme. <laughs> Look at this added little um, bow with like three pieces of twine. So the same, very similar to this card, but totally different colors. And this is Brenda Springer. Yep. And I guess I just want to make sure. Okay. And she's got that on the inside. How cool is that? That is cool. Um, okay, what is Joan talking to herself? She says, oh, I just have to turn up the volume. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> I love that. That was her problem and not hearing. <laughs> uh, Becky Lynn says she could look at a variety of cards and go place an order for something she didn't think I needed. I do the same thing. <laughs> I'll rule out a few things and then um, Becky Lynn before they're gone. Becky Lynn, that's the point of doing this. <laughs> But here's now here's another one. This is Nancy Olson. I just love these. Look at this is got the boho blue inside and then stamped right on top of mm. that. And I love that too. The blue. Isn't that just gorgeous? It is. And I think that is just stunning. And then I love this little inside, putting that there and then that tucked in. Yep. You mean so much to me. And is that a brick wall? Yep. That's an embossing folder. 
Here is another gorgeous one. Ooh. Got this nighttime sky with the sponging. I, you know, I just look at all these cards and think, oh, we just they're have to, so I can't just show a couple. We have to just show a theme here, how they're, that is so rich. You're right. And look at this has the brick wall. This has this and it's done small. It's got all these little trees. Just mm. amazing. Oh, and this, what she has for a background, that is another online exclusive. I didn't realize I had a stamp setter. I would have shown that. I have to show that later, but it has all this, um, the wood in the background. Mm. That is beautiful. This is Marianne Gr um, Grimmer. And I'm going to put right next to that. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Light sponging. Now we have a daytime look. Yeah. But look how similar. <laughs> we have the trees. Is that just amazing? And this one is Abby D. Piazza. And the reason that that's actually the this the um what do they call it when the moon the sun disappears the what we just what we just have last week oh the eclipse you the, think eclipse. That's the eclipse oh okay because <laughs> you said this is daytime <laughs> okay, so. okay okay and then one more to just show this is Laura Barto that oh, it also has the flowers so she's mm. done this and added the flowers so all this variety is just pretty fun. Yes, um, and Jerry's saying that's in the existing catalog. Yeah, it's online exclusive. So Stampin' Up! has things just online and then they also have the catalogs. And that is so that, you know, catalogs are put to bed like a year before they're published. It's really hard to stay up on trend. So there's always the catalog and then there's always the online exclusives and they're available while supplies last, but it lets them be, be more nimble. So that's why I wanted to do this as a separate thing and just remind you. So you just go to the Stampin' Up! store and put in online exclusives. But I love this set and how perfect for sympathy and thinking of you cards. You ever heard of a trendsetter? Mm -hmm. Stampin' Up! is a trendsetter. They, they okay. decide what's going to be famous. Okay. Well, it, well, I know, but it's, and it's hard to do that with catalogs and with the price. So, you know, as the world changes, I love that they do both because this way they can be nimble, offer some other things. And um, okay, so Sherry said to look. So what set was that again? Somebody asked. This was Encircled in Nature. And I always tell you, do a screenshot if you see a card that, you know, you think you would make and use. So here is Happy Little Things. You know, and things with words are so fun. So we're going to look at some of this. And this has a lot of, it's got the inner and the outer here, the celebrate, wishing, love, you. And then we've got a peaceful season, speedy recovery, the best day ever, the little things, happiness, comfort, and strength. You are incredible. You did it really um a fun card so this is gonna or fun stamp set so now we're gonna look at some ways to use this this is kelly burkhart and do you see how that's outlined so look mm -hmm. how pretty that is it's stamped so this is stamped not colored mm. in so that's the inside stamp and then the mm. outside is done in navy so this would be i think fresh freesia and this would be baja blue maybe do you use that thing that lines it up you can or can you get it? Oh, you know, these are actually pretty easy to work with because they are clear. And of course, Tim, I'm answering that question. And I haven't used mine yet. Oh, yes. So this, this is my setup. <laughs> but Jeez. they will be because they're easy. So we, we will we will need to do that. But then do you see how you can just make all your different things? Wishing you the best day ever. Mm -hmm. So here is another one. Wishing you comfort and strength. What a sweet, classy, pretty card. This is Ann Clemmer. And you see this one, she's just using the outside. And then she put the comfort and strength right across the top. Mm -hmm. So a very cute card. Now here is another one with wishing you stamped inside the best day ever. Look at those bright colors to just go with the paper. So is it the fact that they're using these little birds? Is that kind of? These are just a little accessories. So they're an embellishment pack that they're. Yeah, because they yeah, they're really fun with that. And then one more. This one's really lovely because it shows the different ways here. Oh, and you are incredible inside. Look at those fun little stamps, too. This is Angie Leach. And this is a gatefold, so it folds in the middle. But notice how two of, she's got celebrate three times in the colored part. And then to highlight, she just did the outline on the middle one. Mm -hmm. So that middle one stands out. Yep. Isn't that cool? And then the U stands out and... Uh, so I thought that's really cool. Lauren, we're thrilled to have you here from Germany, you know, from all over the world and all different time zones. It's just so fun. <laughs> but these are really great for words, too, and we just can never have enough words. I only have one stamp from one card from the, from the set, and it's another one. Simply Sparkling. 
I just wanted to, and, oh, and it's got dyes. So again, mine hasn't been used, but I hope it will. But this is a, for all kinds of soda, best ever, simply, simply sparkling. Oh, how about this, Tim? Slightly sour. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we could have some fun with that. You're so delightful. I don't know. You have to be careful what you give it to. But look at this cool card. Extra bubbly. And look at all these fun things are in the dyes. Is that, I just think that, and look in the, you know, the strips in the background. This card and even the inside is done with the bubbles. This is from... Brittany Moore. And the fun way she's done that ribbon. I just think what a what a fun card. What a what? That's a lime, I think, as mm -hmm. opposed to a lemon. Yep. And she just spun. She just put on the lemon mm -hmm. lime and then sponged. And then that's the stamp. You can see the edging. And then this is with the foil. Isn't it's a, just an awesome camp. So I think that's really fun. Uh, here's another one that I'm not, I don't have, I might have, some of these might use this, but um, word sets, because I just love words. And I just want to point this out because it's another online exclusive. And I think it's very useful. We have words like, I'm here for you. Cancer sucks. We're here for you. Healing, peace, rest. You're not alone. I wish I could make this better. I like that. I don't have all the right words to say. There's no good card for this. Oh, Thinking like of it. you, praying for you, hoping with you. That is good. That is good. Yeah, there's no good card for this. I This is just a great that set for so comforting good. thoughts. I don't have all the right words to say. Hope this is a feeling better kind of day. Wishing you comfort. I'm so sorry. I, I just think this is a very useful set. And I don't tend to show a lot of cards like this. So I just wanted to point this out because we often need to make cards like this. So um, online exclusives. Are, I, to my knowledge, none of these are retiring right now. They kind of are there while they're there. When they disappear, they're gone. So I, at this point, haven't seen like retiring lists of them. So it's just, uh, so right as of right now, I believe all of these are available. So I just wanted to point them out. Okay, here is another adorable. And we did just get a new uh, grand puppy in our family. So, <laughs> dachshund. A little tiny dachshund. Um, that our son got, but pets and more. How adorable is this? So we've got uh, all these cute little things. So okay, ready for some cute cards with this? Okay. This one. Am I mm -hmm. Are you still? Yeah. You no, know? no, I'm done with that because okay. I didn't really have cards because it's words. I love this uh, orange. This looks like poppy, or I like this orange and red together. It looks like poppy and pumpkin pie. But at first I thought, mm. oh my goodness, that's an interesting combination. Mm -hmm. But isn't that just bright and perky with the dog? And you can see how this is a uh, a reversible. So, okay, let's see. I have used these. So these are reversible. So here is the dog. So first you would put on the stamp this way, or, or second, doesn't matter. But this is going to be the inside where you get the color. Then you're going to reverse it, and that's going to be your outline. Mm. Does that make sense? Yep. So very cool. You can use them together separately. But look at this. The best day ever. How adorable is this? And this is Trace Bauer. And here we have the bird. Hey there. <laughs> oh, this punch is on the retiring list. But I thought, isn't it cute? I like that it's um, very asymmetrical, I guess it would be. But do you see how she's used that as a latch? We always... You know, I love cards that have a little latch to hold it flat. And then this actually is a slide up card because then it will go up there. This is Meg Lovin. What's new? Hey there, what's new? So then we have a, a twisted easel card. Yes. That is darling. Just so cute. And I really love how that is the holder. The slogan, the slogan that was originally popularized was just best day ever. Mm hmm. And they added the best day the ever. best day ever but you could just cut that part off if you wanted to do mm -hmm. best day ever mm -hmm. or you could just say the best that would be cute yes. too so you can always, here's the best part of my day Ooh. so and look the look how cute this is in blue now is this that back blue or purple this is blue Man, this is cool. a misty moonlight and then that's with navy uh so it's navy and misty moonlight and what I think is really cool, this stamp behind here, too, is another online exclusive. It's a background stamp, so I'm going to point mm. that out. But that's not even realistic, and how cute that is. 
you know, so mm -hmm. cards don't need to be realistic at all. I just think this is just, and now this would only use the color on the background is in the cardstock. So you can see it's just the same cardstock. So by just stamping in the navy on the cardstock and cutting it out, you're kind of getting that look in look. And this is Sandy McManus. And then, oh, this is so fun. And then look at this one uses just the outline and not the inside and it's on a vanilla so it would look more like a white so look at these are three different ways of coloring this and this one is no color but isn't that just adorable and here we've got the little this is janice charbonneau i i just think I like these that. are all adorable I and have then a oh a bluey card you're saying what is it is a bluey card is that a tv show for kids or something that's sounding that's sounding very familiar to me there is a blue tick hound. Okay, see, I stand corrected. I didn't know there was a blue tick hound, did you? No. Did not know that at all. So how about that? That is um, um, perfect. But and, tell, mm -hmm. I got to do something first. Mm -hmm. um, I have another saying to put on that. Mm -hmm. um, extra bubbly, because th those look like bubbles that are right. Yeah, it does, yes. So you could use an, yes. an, another stamp from another. Extra bubbly would also be fun for someone who's got a really spirited little dog that they got. That's really, I mean, that's just kind of fun too. Oh, of course, now we have to look at a cat one. Oh, no, this isn't a cat. Is this a fox? Is this a pet? No, that's a cat. It is a cat? You guys tell me, is that a cat? Is. This is Janice is. Waitman. Celebrate the little things. Here we've got that celebrate again, just across the top. So it's a black and white and gray. Yeah, it must be. Show me the, uh, it just, but it's, but it's this. What, what is this, you guys? You guys have to tell me. Oh, Blue's Clues had a blue dog. Oh, perfect for kids' cards. That is so perfect. Um, that does not look like a cat to me. What do you guys What do you guys think this is? But I don't think of things well, like foxes. Yeah, I don't think of foxes as a pets. Pets and more. It would be the yeah. more. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is that is funny. I would be more likely to do this with a cat and use the cat, but that is adorable in black and white, just mm -hmm. on the smoky slate. And you can see it's just stamped on the smoky slate. Well, it sure is a friendly fox or whatever. Yeah, I know. I just think. And then one more. Let's look at several. What a delightful spring card. I was going to show both of these side by side because I would have never looked at this set and thought of using pastels. You know, the others are more kind of more what would come to my mind. This was done in pastels. This one is all pastels. And I just think they are so pretty. And these are done with the, is this the airplane paper that's retiring? Oh, I'm not even sure. But I think this is just delightful. Finding a friend is the best discovery at all. And here you can see she's used that punch, but sliced off the part so it doesn't cover the cat. So it's like a partial punch. A lot of times I'll use a punch and I'll slip it under and then you only see part of it. But I love this idea of just cutting it off. I think that is just really, yeah, the hot air balloon paper. Thank you. That's what I thought it was. Um, and I think this bundle's carrying over, but not the paper. But I just thought in the pastels, this is Meg Levin, is just so pretty. Okay, so we're done with that one. And while we're on. This tail looks like a raccoon. But I don't think it's a raccoon. Well, I certainly don't want a pet raccoon. We've got a whole bunch of those around. <laughs> but it's got to be the end more. I think that is pretty hilarious. Did they run out of pets or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they could have done a little duck or something. <laughs> okay, filled with fun. And it does have dyes. Another one I haven't played with. But so many cute things. You'll see the dyes in here too. Uh, isn't it fun to see these sets that you know, aren't in the catalog because, we just, okay, it is a fox. Okay, so we've heard mm. that with authority. So, okay, <laughs> now we're going to look. I will believe you. <laughs> so I agree. So here we even have we've got the little balloons. And do you see how the wagon, so you can stamp the wagon, but there's also all these little die cut pieces. So here we have a little gray wood wagon and got the presents in it, die cut out. Um, and this is, this is Don Jill Kielblock. Is that the target symbol? <laughs> if you did it in red, you could be, you could put it on a little gift card and it could be a take off. But oh, how cute is this? Look at this, oh, sending nice. loads of happiness. So now we've got these flowers. So the other had the presents. I said the flowers. 
And this has, oh, this is fun. Do you see how this is stamped under here? And then this little gate thing is another die you can put on top. That is adorable. And look at the pretty background. Um, so this one doesn't have that thing underneath. No. Well, it does, oh. but it's not stamped. And this one's low. So it's like a low, low wagon. Yeah. This is a high wagon. So all the different things you can do with the wagon. Mm -hmm. Did I say who this was? I don't think I did. This is Jennifer Peterson. And now if we look at this one, you're going to see two different colors. Now this is high too. Mm -hmm. And this card just uses the dies. So I love it when paper stands alone. I love it when dies can stand alone. But look at this darling wagon just using the dies. And then you put in words. So those are all the little pieces to that. I have a question. Where did the bottoms come from? Because it's not on you. What do you? That. This. And that. This is the bottom right there. But there's a die that cuts this out. And I, I don't, Ooh. I couldn't find my dies to show that. But there's a die that cuts this out. And that's what these bottoms okay. are. And then the wheels fit in there. And then there's another die. You'll notice these aren't stamped. These are just dies that go on top. Okay. And, you know, we we always had a red wagon. We hauled our kids around them and old. It was old at the time. And now it's really an antique and <laughs> rusty. But uh, nothing like a little red wagon. So we're going to keep going because here's another one with gifts. I just, these are just adorable. These are just adorable. Celebrating someone special is so sweet. And this is Carol Johnson. And I just love that. Do you know what we don't have in the next catalog is vellum. And I look, I love the look of vellum. So I will continue to use it. But oh, and by the way, paper is going up envelopes, some other things. So if you're also wondering what to order in April, I better do that tomorrow. I haven't done that yet. Made a list of all the things that will be higher in the May catalog, but the prices are still good in, in this catalog. Just in case you're wondering what to close out the year and, you know, if you want to order in April. Uh, and, you know, for those of you who order through me, when you order six months, then you get a special thing at the end. You order six months in a row. So anyway, but I love how this is colored, just the bright, yep, bright strange. colorfulness. And so you can see like on here, you see how the stamp, the wagon little stamped and here is just the die, but both work. I just think it's just absolutely wonderful. The tongue or the handle. And then this one is just stamped. So this is a super simple one. And I love to show those in too. Let's see who's, to figure out who this is, Melissa Faust. And do you see how this is just stamps? Yeah. So very simple. And I think that is great too. Next we have, oh, this is another fun one. And this is Davida Lepke. I'm going to. Close that. Look at this. And here we have got that same celebrate. Oh, the celebrate looks great with that. Look at that. Celebrate you. And then happy birthday. How cool is that? So now, and, but this whole part is just stamped again. And here is an absolutely stunning one. Celebrating someone special, all popped up and done in blue mm -hmm. and shimmery wheels. Oh, that's really cute. And totally, totally different colors. And she put this inside Jennifer Hill. That is very fun. And one last one. Where, look where he combined the dog. And I thought that's perfect. They just so go together. Because the dog would be going there waiting to go on the walk too. That <laughs> <laughs> would be totally, totally the deal. And this is Carol Slack. And look at that. Sending mm. loads of happiness. Are those just fun? Uh, so that is really, really cute. And then um, filled with fun. Okay, let's do this one. Magnolia Mood, which also has beautiful dyes. So look at these are very intricate dyes and or you can stamp and do cut out the shape or you can do these intricate. So you're going to see both samples in here. Um, and here we go. Look at this gorgeous card with this would be the bubble bath on black. That is stunning. Look at that. This is Kathy Chapman. But is that just a rich looking card? So that would just be that intricate die put mm. on here. I love that. That's beautiful. Let's see if I have more with just the dies. Sometimes I think it helps to organize. No, okay. This looks gray. Is this gray or white? It's a pale, pale pink. It's bubble oh, bath. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but here's another done in white on vanilla. 
Now we often do white on white, which is a really great look. And this is great too. It just gives you that little bit of difference and the embossing folder that goes with this under it. Look at that. Both of these are just classy, classy cards. This is Carol Rosengren. And I think so, they're just stunning. Just a quick aside. Mm -hmm. There was a thing on TV where this lady bought a bottle. She thought it was olive oil. Because said that on it. Yes. Set it on it and she <laughs> added it to her Italian recipe. <laughs> And it was actually bubble bath. It said bubble bath in the smaller <laughs> underneath, but it said olive oil. Here's the humor. And the kids are going, it tastes like soap. Because it did. It was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Ruined the whole chicken. So, but how pretty are those? Okay. So we're going to set those so aside. That's, that's why I said Yeah. That. So I didn't think bath. of that. So here it is stamped now. So this is stamped, cut out, and one cut out behind it. So you can see how we're just building up some layers here. Absolutely gorgeous. Carmen McNamara, and look at her pretty inside, a little corner. Mm -hmm. Just love that. And there's just a little coloring on there. So it's stamped. Looks like it's stamped in gray because it's not really dark. It looks like it's gray. And then adding that, letting that be white. And here's one that is stamped in the brown. Look at how cool that is because this oh. is stamped in gray. This is stamped in brown. And just a little bit of coloring too. And I love pointing that out because you don't need to color a whole thing when you work at something. But you can see how she's just scattered stamps on here too. And this is a trifold card where it opens there and opens again. And this is Elaine Shader. How cool is that? And then here we have another. Now this one's colored in more, colored in lightly. I Look, look at all these, the same stamp. And all stunning cards. I mean, I don't think you can do anything wrong with this stamp set. Oh, and she did a lovely insight. Look at that. Yeah, okay. Um, Terry Gaines. So we have those three. Now we have this. This one's cut out. So we have a gray one back here, and we've got bits and pieces here. That's really interesting. Carol Steinbrecher. A totally different look by doing bits and pieces there. Oh, and here's another one. Oh, this is interesting. So this is, and she did the inside. This is Janice Adams. And Tim, do you see how this is stamped and cut out? But mm -hmm. then she cut out the same thing mm. out of this color and just offset them. Offset, so it looks yeah. like basically like a shadow. Yep. But they're really the same size. One is offset and there is no coloring. The color is just in the ink. Okay, here is a fractured card. Done. So you, here you can see the difference between using the gray and the black. Yeah, mm -hmm. so very much different. And I just love how you get different looks. And this one does not have a name, so I do not know. And then here is one. Look how simple and pretty this is. This is with the dye that comes in it. And it's just brushed over lightly with um, white ink. And this is Linda Larson. Okay, so that is gorgeous. gorgeous. Next... Nope. Oh, where did you this, have a question? There's the, this is the only one that has that. And where did it come from? Where did it come from? Oh, came from right here. Like that. That Isn't is that cool? Really so we've got cool. two different things that we can use that from. There's only one person that used it in this. In this yeah, place. most of them were just using the other. Uh, yeah, but that is really cool, isn't it? And then that really adds a little yellow. That is really stunning. Yeah. Just, just a stunning card. I just... I could look at cards all day. So yeah, that embossing folder is gorgeous too. So this is Magnolia Mood. And um, this is and this is just a note to let you know you are loved. Thank you for being you and happy birthday. But anyway, another beautiful, beautiful set that just works so easily. So and, if, I, if I ever wonder where Karen is and what she's doing, I say, <laughs> Karen, where are you and what are you doing? She says, I'm looking at cards. I know. I go through my box of cards over and over. Now we're going to look at the coffee set. So Latte Love. Okay, Tim, this is for Ooh, you, this yes. coffee set. Look at all these cool stamps. And these are the dies mm. that go with it. And this paper starts alone, so uh, stands alone. So first, we're going to look at cards that only use the paper. Mm. Let's start with some of those. Look how, so all of this comes from the paper. And I thought, aren't these just pretty Ooh. colors together? You're the best part of my day, Karen Braxton. Love it. Are, is she talking about coffee? Mm -hmm. Or your friend. It could be both. Yeah. You're the best. But, you know, this is perfect to put if you're giving a gift of coffee or yeah. something. 
Because, you know, I'm going to give you the coffee because then that might be the best part of your day. But I know you're going to yeah. think about me yes. <laughs> because I need the coffee. Okay, there's Tim's thing. And look, at this one's on me. How how simple and lovely. And then the Ooh. little card for inside. Yes. Isn't that fun? And thanks so much. A great little thank you card. And this is Brenda Springer. So, you guys, again, this is just the paper. And here's more with just the paper. This is also in the paper. Look at all these different things. So there's pages with this, there's this, and then you're going to see these same papers coming up um, regularly here. Hello there. Let's catch up. And this is Nancy Thompson. Uh, um, did you? Yep. Yeah, well, question. just that this mm -hmm. cup is, is a much broader one with the same top. But that one is see, now these are stamp. Now this is stamp. We haven't gotten yep. to the stamp thing. This is paper. Do you yeah. see how it coordinates? But it's different. Yeah. So it isn't that exactly. Yep. I yep. Got it. I but got they're it. all going to be um, mixed in together. And I just have so many. But look at this variety. All of these are so different. This is Monica Gilberti. They're all different, but they're all just made with the paper, which is just amazing. Uh, and then, oh, aren't these fun? This one's on me. As you fold like this is Stephanie Flapp. And she added a little stamp in here, but the rest of this mm. is not, is just the paper again. Oh, this is stamped. So she did this. So if we see the difference, let's look at this side by side. As you can tell, this is the colored in and the color kind of goes different ways. This is paper. Do you see, but do you mm -hmm. see how similar they are? But they're different. Mm -hmm. So really cool. And then here's another one. Back to just the paper. Well, let's catch up. Kathy Parlitzis. And yeah. another one. <laughs> I just have so many. So I have so many cards. <laughs> Look at this. Hope you bring a feeling better kind of day. Denise Kessler. That fold. And this one. I just want to point out again. This is the paper. But do you see how she's actually cut out the rim there? And so the cup itself is lifted higher. And then that's the coffee circulating inside. And these are little strips. Isn't that an interesting idea? I think this is speaking to the coffee. This is Laura Mulligan. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all the splatters are great. One more fun fold here. Just cute. And this is, uh, this one's on me. So it's going to be like a little tent card. Like that. Points up. And this one is... Candace Johnson. So again, really so is that very a lovely. Easel. This would be like a, an e yeah, it would be like an easel card. It uh, yeah, so it, or a stand up. Sometimes I call these a tent card if this is lower, mm -hmm. and then there's something that goes up top. We haven't done one of those for a while too. Um, the same, only difference. You're right, Barb. <laughs> and now we're gonna look at some with the stamps. So here's one. I love this card, and it is so simple. If you just want to do a quick little thank you, look at this. Hey there. What's new? And this one does not have a name, but I was thinking this could even work just on a plain white little envelope, but I love this. It would be a great little thank you or something, but I, isn't that cute with just, you know, simple cards are also just stunning. We don't have to go way over the top, but then we'll show some. something. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering about the fitting into an envelope. Look at it. It's the same size. Yep. So, so we, we get everything to fold to be the same size. Yeah. So you do this size and then we attach this. You lay it down and just make sure it's going to hit the same size. That's how you're going to know where oh, to attach this part. I see. Because you don't want it sticking up too high. Got it. Now look at this. So both of these are from, this is all from the paper, but this is from the dies. Uh, isn't this uh, coffee pot thing fun? I think this is a great die. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I think that's really fun. And this is Kathy Chapman. This one, this is cool. Did you see, this is the stamp and it's stamped on the background paper. So I love that. It's what we call that paper piecing when you, when you stamp on. So they're already were striped. So it mm -hmm. kind of gives the cup some pattern without having to stamp in a pattern yeah. in the middle too. But look at this background too. She's got all these different little dies. Can you see that up close? So it's just made. So this is work. That's that's a little and putsy, but it's stunning. A French press. French press. We've got all these things. That is really over the top doing that. This is uh, Charlene Ito. But I just think it's lovely. What a great idea to do that. Here is 
these mm. two cups again. And here, just adding a little bit of coloring onto the, the cup. And then, you know, you can kind of scribble it around like that. Um, and to make it look really messy, you can also take a, if you're doing this with blends, then you can also use a little color lifter if you, if you have that. And it kind of, and I don't know if she did, but it just kind of makes things look a little light. But I like how she's just kind of traced in those little parts. And this is Ellen Boyle. I think those are great. And here's one more. So this is really a dark, a dark cup. So if we look at this, see, it's just shaded in much more. It's done on white and it's totally colored in. And look at this with the window sheet. <laughs> is that a cool yeah. idea? I love this card. I think that is so fun. And this is Lori Krause. Very cool. Uh huh. Oh, um, <laughs> Becky Lynn is asking Tim if you made decorations in froth when you were a barista. Did you ever learn no, that? He did not did. learn that talent. So it remains to be discovered. So he will serve you when you come here, but he will not have that. I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> that Starbucks was one of the last co coffee companies to come to that. That yeah. was really the independence. So they were catching up. They were catching up. And you know what that says to me, the independents were looking for ways to stand out yeah. and kind of starting this art, which is really cool. And we love independent coffee shops. I just, anything, small business, <laughs> anything. Um, so all of this is the Simply Zinnia set. Now this is also online. And this is what um, my card kit is. Well, so here's a second card that's in the card kit. Oh, which, um, so I have three really fun cards. This is what you get in your card kit for free if you place a $50 order or more for me. But then I'm going to show you some more. So first, we're going to look at some just using the paper because that's all I use in the card kits. Um, and you can always put on your own words. But this is a paper in the paper pack. <laughs> It looks like it, it looks stamped. raised, yeah. Yeah, and it looks like stamped or embossed. And I love how it makes a great background for this mm -hmm. cutout. You know, I love I love the uh, coffee paper and this paper both have easy fussy cutting. And I really like easy fussy cutting. So a lot of this is going to be that. And so let's see. And then she added that on the inside. This is Jessica Brigden. And look at this one with just a little bit of a circle. That's making that the accent. And then we have some decorations here, but um, just a very simple, lots of just soothing space there. This one has no name. And then I'm going to show these two because they're similar but different. This one is Janine Pullman. Yep. So hers opens like this, which is really a, a standard Z fold card. Yeah, it just looks like is a, a one of the little packet packets with seeds in them. Yes, it does. It really does. And this one is Dawn Bourget. And what I wanted to point out is, if you notice, these are both simple cards with the paper doing the work, and they both have embossed white on mm. colored paper. Mm. So it adds a really striking thing. So this is sending flowers and thinking of you, and this is words fail to express my gratitude. But I just thought I wanted to point those out together because I thought, and they both have just a touch of ribbon, but just um, an elegant way to make those cards. Now here would be this same paper and another great way to use this card. You can see she's made a narrower strip and then put the words across the bottom. This one is Tammy Akerson. Hmm. This one, this paper is so gorgeous. So you get two sheets of paper like this and you can make a whole bunch of cards because you get two sheets of six different patterns in the different things. Now, this is one of my favorite card layouts that I show you all the time where it's where we're showing both sides of a paper like this. And this is Karen Braxton. But I want to point out, look how fun that is. She's added the sparkle paper to the mm -hmm. side. So it really dresses it up. It just looks very fancy. I love to those do like a whole stack of birthday cards or something like making, this. Making it a St. Patrick's Day card. There, there you go. And then we have, oh, okay, here's another one with paper. And that same oh, celebrate great. we were seeing from the online. And this is Kristen Bryant. And then we have this pop-up card, which is Carol Johnson sending loads of happiness. And what I want to point out about this, you know how there are, there's no end to how we do, like this is an easel card. I have made them. So we've done a bunch of these on Thursdays and in All Good Cards Club. 
And some of them we make and they stand straight up. This one is almost lying down. And what I love is that they all are beautiful and they all serve a little different look, a little different purpose. Yeah. But I thought, isn't that pretty? Sending loads of happiness. Enjoy today. That is awesome. And I also thought you were going to say this is horizontal, but you can also do it vertical. So it's like. Yes, yes, like yes, that. yes. You can do that too. We've done them like that too. It, yes. And then they stand like that. So I just think that is just a very cool. Oh, zinnias. Um, um, yeah, someone was saying that she didn't like them when she was a kid, but she does now. So, yeah, zinnias. I just, these bright colors. So who here is a gardener? I said, I don't, I'm happy to plant a few things, but I don't like to take care of them once the mosquitoes are out and the weather gets too hot. Now we're going to look at some with the stamp set. So this is actually stamped. Isn't that pretty and colored in? Thank you so much. And this is the inside too. This is Nancy Reynolds. These are two more that are stamped, cut out, and then they have Wink of Stella on them. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell, but it's a little shiny there. And then the embossing folder behind. This one is Becky Wise, Be Betty Weisbrook. And a yes. fun inside. Here we have, you know, these flowers don't need to be colored in. Here they're done in, I think that's Poppy Parade. Or Melon Mambo. I think it's Melon Mambo. And isn't that pretty? So it doesn't need to have green for the leaves or anything. This is Joey Hartman. And now here's the same one done in black but colored in. And it's got the split card front. And the word's coming across here. But it's the same stamp. And that is Karen Chin. Karina Chin. What were you talking about? This is, the, the outline is black. And yeah, this yeah. Of, and this one is just stamped in the color. red. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Pat says she's been planting zinnias in big pots on my deck for the last few years. Are they easy to grow? I don't think, do I think we have zinnias, no. do we? I, it, it seems like I see them a lot and they're very colorful. They seem like they might be easy to grow. And then I have a few using the dyes. So these are using the dyes, but not the stamp set. Do you see how we have all these little layers in here? Mm -hmm. This is actually the paper render. Oh, that's interesting. So she used that as a base and then put two of these on top and the center. And it opens like that. This is Nancy McBee. Oh, look at this fun one. We did cards like this a long time ago. Does anyone remember? We I did the kangaroo thing and it was a long little thing across, but we could do a get look at sending flowers and thinking of you. Do you see how the that little part flips open <laughs> and then it flips out? How fun is that? This is Marie Resler. Mm. Oh, but very cool. <laughs> and then here is, we've got two more cards. We're getting to the end. Here is the same, and this is just kind of sponged on, it looks like. But see what different effects we get with the flowers by just mm -hmm. changing what you're doing. This one is Laura Barto. And then we have a really fancy one with all of these. So this just shows you all the different dyes that come in too. Look at this and this tucked in and all of that. This is uh, Mary Ann Grimmer. And that is it. We want to thank you for spending this time with us. So this was a lot of cards. I'm just thrilled to have shown all these. On Thursday, we're going to do another fun new card. It's going to be a fun fold. And we've so got if you're, mail. If you're on um, my list, you will, I don't know if it's today or tomorrow when the newsletter comes out, it'll be tomorrow, I think, you'll get the um, supply list early. And a bunch of you will see tomorrow on the All Good Cards Club. And uh, just send a message if you still want information about that. And thanks, you guys. This is so fun to just share all these to share all these cards with you. And I, I just love doing this because I could sit and chat about cards forever. So thank you all and good night. Good night.